I've heard some good stuff about them, so I can't wait to see it. Shout out Mickey, nickname Giella Rossi. This is a Roma, pre- uh, whatever. Honestly, it's loves the club and they're in the Europa League. Last season finished sixth, right now in real life, they're eighth. Uh, Miles Villa all the way to Ricardo Sobez, looking for hidden talent. First player that we've got is Miles Villa, and you know what? That's just what we need right now. Absolute quality reflexes on that bench. 23, if he complains, you send him out on loan. And he comes back a better man as he's still quite young. Next goalkeeper that we've got is a 21 year old called Pietro Boa. And he's got the stats of someone that snuck onto the coach. He's not part of the men, them still. He's not part of the squad. Not my squad. Don't care. No way. Six foot four is the only reason why I might have him there. But it's not for football, only to scare away the flies. Uh, he's got a higher reach to pour fly dust all over them. Last goalkeeper is Rui Patricio. I might cherish those stats as nothing lasts forever. He's about to end his career. 35 years old with one year left on that contract. I'll probably be forcing it if I forced him to sign a new deal. I don't know what I would do. He's still got great stats right now though. Um, and the natural fitness is great as well. I wouldn't be surprised if you sign him to a new contract. First outfield player is Chris Smalling. And I can't believe he still looks so great. No nonsense centre back. I feel bad for the youth players trying to come through against this guy of his positioning 17, tackling 16. He ain't going to give them a chance. He'll dominate all of them in the air effortlessly as well. This is unfair, bro. He's still great, 33. And you still have to keep him defensively, innit? Because I didn't mention football. Because he doesn't play football. All right, next you've got one Luca Mancini and I have to give him his respect, man. I don't know how his value is so low, but I wouldn't question him on it because I'm, sc- I'm scared he might crack my skull. 19 aggression, bro. He's moving like a hungry seagull. Them ones that fight over the fries. He's pissed off. Who knows why he's so angry, man? He ain't too slow. Put him ball playing defender defend. 10 dribbling. He's a solid centre-back. Maraj Kumbula. So that would have been the new bull. You know, like a angry cow. It would have been him. He's the next one, bro. But the problem is uh, you can only do that for so long. Who, who knows how long he's been doing it for already? The guy chops down trees with his head. 17 heading. And now, unfortunately, it caught up to him. He's gone for seven to eight months. So, yeah, I can't use him anymore. That natural fitness don't mean nothing to me no more. I'll probably sell him now. Mentally, he's he just sees red. He doesn't, you know, this just shows you he doesn't look at things rationally. It's just red. Pure anger. I'm not involved, bro. Diego Lorente on loan from Leeds. There's no way they willingly let him go out on loan. He forced his way out to Roma because he's too good. If you loan him out, you're hustling backwards. It's dumb. Don't make sense. 17 bravery, that man's committed, bro. He's even better defensively than he is on the ball. And he's so good on the ball that I wouldn't even put him in a defensive position. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'd rather have him in the midfield still. Even or Evan Indica, that's some uh, that's some of that underwhelming quality. It is beautifully underwhelming. 13 positioning, 13 tackling is my only issue. Apart from that, the guy will go far, I imagine. 23 years old, let's just bank on it to improve, innit? I don't even think you can improve tackling, man. I tried it and it just didn't work. So you just got to play him, see what happens. And if you play him, Left-hand side, he's a brilliant left-back that can't progress the ball. Or a solid centre-back who, with time, well, you, you heard. All right, Rasmus Christensen, shout out the Danish man then. But this guy, I'll be honest, he's not it, man. He's, it looks like, when he's on the ball, it looks like a zombie that's wearing Air Jordans. So he runs a bit better. And he could jump a, a bit better as well. But uh, yeah, proge- progressing the ball, flipping hell. It's not, it's disgusting. But he'll cross it with brilliance. So that's the only problem. You are in a little bit, uh, the situation's a bit bad. He can't even pass the ball. He can't even flip and see the ball. But the crossing's so good, so that's the only reason why I can understand why you would keep him for a year. I just don't want to do it. It's too much pain to deal with, man. Rick Cardzop is a chef on that right-hand side with a lot of pace and world-class movement. You just don't want him to defend because similar to a chef, the only thing he's got to defend himself is a rolling pin, 12 tackling, 11 positioning, don't even bother. The way they'll take turns and the fact that he winds up opponents, they'll be even more likely to spin him twice, bro. They'll try and spin him even more. Quarantine leukemia. All right, so it looks like a fruit fly got trapped into the game and they took its stats down. That's what these stats look like. Leonardo Spinazzola. We call this one a highly productive liability, meaning that he can't enter either box. Defensively, if he enters the box, he'll probably give away a penalty. Offensively, if he enters the box... We're better off watching the great cooking, great British Bake Off, bro. But if you keep him bombing forward on the left flank, offensively, oh, look at the pace. I mean, the nine natural fitness fills me with no confidence, bro. Very good off the ball. You've got some decent wing backs still. I can imagine him being good squad depth, but I would obviously start him 
I just don't know if his legs agree with what I just said. Brian Cristante, that's the guy I want getting late into the box. What the hell has he accomplished to get 17 heading? 19 team, man. they got a lot of guys that work well with the team. Imagine if you give him a ball in the air, the way he'll connect with it, he'll go in, man, easy work. What the flip? Shoots from distance, try long range passes, and he can do it as well. All right, Zeki Selix, so why is he transfer listed? Why is he a fringe player, you ask? Well, 14 tackling, and the guy can't read a defensive situation. 14 passing, and the guy can't read a football match. Eight vision, he can't see a football match, but he can't read a book. And yet, I'd still keep him, because he's the only right back I've seen that can actually win the flipping ball. <laughs> so, okay, I don't care. I don't give a damn. Fair in decisions, he's still decent enough for me. I'll be real, yeah, if that is on the bench, like Angel Paredes, my God, it's brilliant. Imagine him coming off the bench. Think about it, bro. Because he's good enough to start, but you've managed to make him think that he's a bench man. How have you tricked him like that? This guy should be starting. He's Europa League quality, low Champions League quality. He's sick. And I rate it, bro. Flipping 15, passing 15, tackling. I ain't doing no box to box no more. I know he can shoot from five. I don't care. It's deep line playmaker still. And with that, you've got yourself one of the best. Uh, he's just a very good backup man. Lorenzo Pellegrini, and he's still pretty great. He is. 27, very good dribbling. The guy can progress the ball by himself, yeah. And the way he passes it, mixed with the work rate, the guy's like a cook who can defend his kitchen. Both worlds, wins the ball as well. I think he's even better defensively. I would understand if you made him more defensive. It would make sense, obviously. Maybe not even deep, a, a deep play and playmaker thing, but because it's off the ball so much better, you leave me no choice. It's a box to box. It has to be. Yeah. Forget advanced playmaker right now. Why do I say that? Mentally, it's not even on that level. There's so many better out there. So I want him to just have energy, but use your creativity at the same time. And he can cross. Yeah, this guy's sick. Eduardo Bove. Are you mad? That man is a lion. You can see it, bro. With the physicality of a shrimp. That's all it is. 15 tackling. He's sick at passing as well. He can even shoot. That could be a box to box. He really needs to get stronger because when he does, he's going to be an immovable force. They'll be blowing him away like a dandelion right now in the wind. Wow. They've even got Renato Sanchez. So I see what Jose is going for in that midfield, bro. He's going for that fear factor. He wants their names to be ringing bells in the streets. In the midfield, bro. The way they outwork all the opposition. That should say hard work in midfielder, obviously, bro. It's quite obvious. He looks like he's overdosed on caffeine. Way too much energy here. Way too much. Flipping 17 natural fitness as well. So he ain't running out of gas no time soon. I like that. Technically, he's sound. Good in the tight spaces. He ain't a shooter from close, but he is from long. Can't win that ball for nothing. It is a... Hey, Mazzella. Mazzella, it is. He is a fantastic, gifted Mazzella that doesn't know what he's doing with them decisions. Stefan El Sharari, yeah, that's quality. I can see it. First touch, 16. Off the ball, 16. He's even got very good finishing. Long shots, all right. Great passing. Off the ball, flair. He's quality. And unfortunately, he's just one level below elite winger for me. And the reason why, it's not the ability it's the fact that he can't use the ability for too long 11 stamina 10 natural fitness it's his fault he's like a lamborghini who's got 500 milliliters petrol tank you look good but not for long bro you'll gas out very soon nikola zalaweski all right so they must play with wing backs because they got this guy now who's a left winger left wing back and left midfielder um i don't know where i would play him though man because mentally it looks like he's got his wires all screwed up as a tech man he got the, the wires tangled upstairs still. Likes to beat opponent repeatedly. I would probably make him a Mazella because the technique is it's beautiful. It is, man. 16 first touch. Brilliant dribbler. We just have to hope that he can pull something out of the bag. All right, who's them hour? So they got another tech, man. So I see a little bit of balance between anger and tech. And definitely because this guy's got the work rate of a uh, sloth who became a stoner just doesn't give a damn really not a winner of the ball so you put him as a cam yeah that's a little cam that floats links up play very well yeah plays one twos i could see it already paulo dibala they're trying to chip away at my boy i see them trying to bring his stats down man what's going on with that 12 composure what's going on technically you can see that he's been ai generated he's fake even with that 10 natural fitness i'll still be using him every game everybody's got their wild cards this is more than a wild card. This is the catastrophe for the opposition, man. Look at what he's going to be doing to them. 17 dribbling, 18 flair. He, don't, he doesn't want to let go of the ball with the 18 agility and the 18 balance, bro. That's not a fair fight. That's like you trying to outrun a squirrel. A squirrel, bro. So that Asmund, quality loan that they brought in, man. 
He's a fantastic player with great link up, fantastic finishing and flipping head and ability as well. The only problem is that he's got the stability of a toothpick, 10 natural fitness, 11 strength. I don't know if I can rely on him like that, which is why it will be beautiful as a loan. If you can keep the loan going, you should milk it for as long as possible. Romelu Lukaku, you have to be careful though, because the 20 balance with me, he'll fall on the floor. 20 strength with me, the centre backs will bully him. And 20 penalty taken with me, he'll miss all of them. So it's weird, but I understand what he'll do against you, innit? 18 finish and this guy, I don't know how the hell. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But he's one of the best strikers in the game. Still, matter of fact, he'll be ruining my centre-back partnerships, man. We had something going there, man. We had a bit of a relationship with my other centre-back and they, he ruined it. He broke us apart with that strength. He's too strong, man. I don't know what to do with this guy. He can even link up, uh, kind of. Dribbling as well, 13-13, it's all right. Very good in the air. Bro, he's a problem. He's still a problem. Whether you like him or not, that man will bang goals in football manager. Tammy Abraham. The guy is six foot five with agility. The guy's moving like a very mobile version of Frankenstein who knows where the goal is. He can dribble like a winger. Composure's not that bad. It's not the, yeah, mentally he's got a couple holes, but he's still got good enough link up play. That's a solid striker. He's got a lot of potential and he's only 25 as well. He's also gone for uh, eight to nine months. Ugh, it's the problem. The man can't stay fit. He is truly Frankenstein. Truly, man. Well, the monster. Andrea Bellotti. Man's got 10 dribbling, 10 vision. So a lot of these things, they're horrible fundamentally. But he's got nine work rate, nine teamwork. So all is forgiven now. You're forgiven. You can mess up your first touch as much as you like because I know you will outwork the opposition and you'll do anything in your power to make sure that your boys are eating as well. How can you have him and Lukaku in the same team? Imagine if you had them both up front together. That's like two bounces with football boots on and jetpacks. The way they both move is ridiculous. 16 strength. The guy's got balance as well. Ricardo Sobez wants to play with the big men. Is it too early? Comes deep to get ball. Very good natural fitness. 8 vision, 10 passing. He's a dribbler, so you'll probably keep him out wide because up front is just wasting everybody's time. Well, not really. It's a weird one. Because he's 16, I hear it. I might keep him on the bench. Give him a couple sub appearances. Let these stats develop because he ain't too far behind. In fact, he's actually well ahead of the other 16-year-olds. It's quite obvious. Yeah, that team is magnificent. Extremely solid, man. We got Patricio in goal, goalkeeper defend for now. I got two wingbacks on defend duty. I got Zeki Selic and Indica. And then I got Mancini as a ball playing defender next to him. No nonsense, centre back. That partnership will be great. You got a lo hey, lovely balance, man. It's beautiful at the back. And I got Lorente, who I refuse to put as a centre back. Deep line playmaker. Unbelievable. Chris Ante will have the freedom to go forward with that lack of dribbling. We were, we're relying on the off the ball to make the magic happen. You know how that goes. Abraham, I put him on the left wing because his dribbling is so great. So is the off the ball. So is the pace. El Sharawe is a right-footed right winger. I'm going to do it. Don't care. And then Dybala, oh man. Sheesh. That is a solid midfield, you know. Well, you know what I'm saying. And then Lukaku in front of them. Hey, the team is good. In fact, it's, it's great. It's great. I don't think they're too far behind. In Italy... Well, obviously, they're top 10. I was going to say top five. They might be still. Who's the other four? Can't remember. <laughs> I'll be honest. Hey, shout out Mickey. Have a good day.